Alright, hello there everyone, I am Nick, and welcome back to Call of Duty World at War Zombies. Today we're playing with the, um, the, what's it called? Imagine that, we need to turn the power on. Uh, How original. What the hell am I thinking of? The realism mod, the zombies realism. Which is not terribly realistic, but it is a shitload of fun, so, there's that. Sorry about missing the last couple of days, guys. Uh, I wasn't able to get a good time on Thursday. And Friday was belting. And I spent the whole day having a great day that day. <laughs> we had cake and some donuts and a whole big feast. And we had a fire and it was beautiful. Fuck you up, freak bag! So, now it is uh, Saturday morning of May 2nd, and we're back to live streaming. Back to your regularly scheduled live stream. So what this, what this uh, mod is, is basically uh, the Call of Duty multiplayer, how there's rank ups and, you know, procedures and unlocks and whatever, put into zombies mode. And there's some extra options too, and whatever, you know, there's upgrades, and you can turn on, like, bosses, or time gameplay, or whatever you like. But this is... I, I really like this. This is, like, super addictive. I have a feeling Call of Duty multiplayer would be super addictive as well if I didn't completely suck at it. <laughs> but, yeah, so... I've already prestiged once. I don't know how the hell I did it. I played like the whole day for a day, so, but now I'm at level 19, I probably should prestige, because now it's going to take me for fucking ever to get back to level 65. But that's okay, because I'm actually really enjoying playing this, so, if it does take me forever, then that's okay, because we're having fun here. So yeah, my favorite build that I had was when I started the game. Like, is in round one with an MG42 and a 357 Magnum. I started the game with both of those, and it was beautiful. I could last in this area for like an hour. That's probably a huge exaggeration, but it was hysterical watching how long I could last. Particularly since I was using the uh, soldier class. So I had. Was it soldier? No, it was custom class. But anyway, I had it set so that I would spawn with an ammo box, like I do here. I have an ammo box. So, I could just last in here for like 10 rounds without ever having to leave the starting area. And it was, it was just beautiful. The only time I ever left was to go and grab the Bowie knife. Yeah, I would stay in here till like round six, never leaving this room till round six. And then the only reason as to why I left was to grab Juggernaut and uh, Bowie Knife. Because you're given a choice in perks. Uh, right now, since I'm only level 19, I only began with extreme conditioning, which allows me to uh, sprint longer. But, um, uh, my preferred level, uh, level 3 perks are hard because you get a choice between Juggernaut, which basically makes you spawn with Juggernog, which is amazing, or stopping power, which means all your guns do additional damage. Now, Jugger, now, I eventually decided that the better choice was stopping power, because Juggernaut, you can obtain through the Juggernog machine. It's not the same as it is in normal zombies, it just, you can see that I have a health over there of 180 that I spawn with. That's extremely high. Usually it's, usually it's 100. So I can take like an additional, I can take like 4 hits before I go down because I have extremely high health with this uh, setup that I've got here. And, uh, so the big, uh, but you can't get stopping power from any of the machines. Because how this works is, uh, Juggernaut is not exactly Juggernaut. It gives me higher health, but 
But it's not like in normal zombies where you can take two hits, and then Juggernaug lets you take five. It doesn't work quite the same. So what happens is every is you spawn with three perks of your choices, assuming you're high enough level to have unlocked those slots, which I am not at the moment. Uh... Ah, oh, damn it, I should have I, didn't see, I couldn't see what that was, but I didn't want to wait. Um... So you can spawn with three perks of your choices, assuming you at, you're a high enough level for those slots to be unlocked. And... Uh... Your... And so you spawn with a random... With, uh, no, with those three perks. Now, some perks that match up with ones you can get from the box can be, uh, not the box, from the machines in the vanilla game, can be obtained from those. So there is no speed cola exactly, but since sleight of hand is a perk, which helps you speed up your reload, which is basically what speed cola does, uh, you can obtain sleight of hand out of the speed cola machine, if that makes any sense. Uh, in, in the same vein, Juggernaut does not work precisely like Juggernaut, but they're close enough that you can buy Juggernaut from the Juggernaut machine. However, the reason as to why I picked Stopping Power as my initial perk last time was because there's no close equivalent to Stopping Power, so it can't be obtained from the machines. Meaning, uh, so every 50 kills you and, okay, I have to explain another thing. Every 50 kills you obtain, or as a random power-up, you'll get a new perk. So you know how it'll drop, like, you know, insta-kill, or max ammo, or double points. It's the same thing, except it's a, it's a much lower chance, and it can randomly give you a random perk. So it can, so it'll be, I don't, I haven't picked up one as of yet, but I'm sure I will at some point in this game. Uh, I'll pick up a... Uh, I'll kill a zombie and you'll see a perk, like, it's just like a cola bottle or something. And I'll show you guys, it's, and it just gives you a random perk of some kind. So, yeah, that's how you obtain new perks. And so, stopping power increases your damage, and that's extremely useful, ex particularly on higher rounds, where even upgraded guns don't do very much. Where, yeah, where even up, where you need like upgraded shotguns to be able to kill in one hit, and, and zombies start to take up lots of ammo. Is this not? Alright, I think we're gonna run for the power now. Yeah, let's just go. See, so yeah, that's the setup that I favored at the time. I don't know what got me started talking about it, but yeah. <laughs> I like the ramp. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, for some, for whatever reason, you have to repair all the perk machines. Uh, yeah, it's easier if, I believe it goes faster if you're an engineer class, but I'm a soldier. Alright, we'll just kill these two. Ah, oh, crap, I got double points at a bad time. Alright, and I just barely have enough to go and grab Juggernaut. And uh, something that's cool, that's worthy of note, is that even though I have stopping power, uh, well, I don't have it right now. Crap, even where I have stopping power or juggernaut or whatever, uh, that's not an end all. Uh, okay, so that's a bad way of putting it. What happens is. Oh, see, I just barely got stopping power. You can't buy it out of the machine, but you can get it as one of those things. You can see it says Killing Streak 100 perk. Uh, but, uh, the important thing to note is that those drops, or those, you know, get 100 kills, or, you know, whatever, can provide an upgraded version of the perk. So you might see, like, uh, Killing Spree 150 stopping power upgraded, just as an example. Then it will become even more effective. But you can't buy those powered up versions out of the machine, obviously. So it's, uh, prudent to buy... 
juggernaut and you know whatever you want juggernaut uh, speed colon whatever uh, early on because if you obtain that was car okay uh, because if you obtain the uh, normal version from the perk bottle, then you can no longer buy it, but then you might have missed out on an upgraded version, had you decided to buy, you know, had you decided to buy the thing early and then you got the perk bottle, it might have given you an upgraded Juggernaut, which gives you even more health, or an upgraded Speed Cola, which has, that's Max Ammo, which has even better, even faster reload, and will make your health regen faster. As you can see right now, with only one version of Juggernaut, I have 240 health, which is extremely high. <laughs> eh, not my first choice of weapon, but it'll we work. We need to get those linked up. All right, let's start linking these. I don't know what all of them. It's always a good idea when I spawn with 357 Magnum to upgrade that soon. But since I don't have it, I don't really have anything that I'm keen on upgrading. Definitely not the PPSH. That would take far too fucking. That would take far too much fucking ammo. Um, I don't. I don't think I have anything that I want to upgrade on me. But maybe I'll buy like a double barrel. Oh wait, I've, double points. Okay. Um. Okay, there's only one zombie, so I'll knife him and then I'll wait the double points to start to expire and then we'll use it up. Go on, it's dogs. Meaning there will be lots of spawns. Shouldn't these guys be on a leash? Alright, I'll grab it. I probably had a couple more seconds to spare, but whatever. Alright, 24. Sweet. Alright. Rack up the points here. Sweet. For some, for whatever reason, in the realism mod, the dogs don't drop uh, max ammo at the end of the round, which really sucks. Because that was a big part of my strategy until I realized that. Dempsey, we're just barely at the main frame. We're on. Twenty. Yeah, yeah, you don't need to keep counting. Alright, and then the third one's really expensive to get to, so I'll wait a... I'll probably wait till the end of the round or something. Oh crap, I always forget that it does that. Let's see what it has. I always forget that it teleports a power-up. Which is a bad thing to forget, because it's really useful. Yeah, I'm not super keen on doing it here. Uh, something that sucks about the insta-kill, though, oh, that's okay. is, uh, in the realism mod, you're not, uh, oh, sometimes it happens, I guess. That's weird. Uh, this thing has super inconsistent stuff. Uh, when I was playing before, I was noticing that the, uh, so when you knife, you get 12, uh, level up rank XP in addition to whatever you know points you get you can tell at the top that's my rank bar that's how close I am to getting another rank Ooh, headshots for me. sweet all right I'm trying to decide if I want to go to the last teleporter or if I want to buy uh, speed I'll buy speed coal, I guess. I'm used to spawning with it, because I had sleight of hand for one of my... Uh, one of my upgrades. That's the way I roll. Which, I'm t which I'm totally used to, it's not a good thing. Stabby. Come here. Yeah. Alright, they're totally sworn. Yep, I knew that was gonna happen. Alright, run. 
Alright, but I got full health. I'm good. Yeah, upgrade point. I fully upgrade this class. So it's not like it's a big thing, but still. Upgrade points you can spend to buy permanent upgrades. Like, you notice that... Ooh! Like, you notice... And I guess the double points are going to work for this. It wasn't before. Uh, you'll notice... Uh, crap. Someone needs to clean up those freak bits! Freak feet bag, sucker! Crap. I totally lost my train of thought. I have no idea what I was gonna say. Eat it, gut bags! <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> totally lost my train of thought. You, you should notice something, apparently. Keep an eye out for whatever you should be noticing, because I forgot it. Hello. Yes, third one's expensive to get. Well, it's not expensive to get to, but to get the... But to easily get to the teleporter, it's harder. It's more expensive, because you have to buy three doors. Actually, I have to buy four. Yeah, you can see how much that cost me. I didn't have to do that, but it's way the hell easier. Yeah, so it knocked me down 3,000 points. You have 25 seconds. You have seconds. But if you I could do this, then... Sound and chick counting down those numbers. Of course, that's what Dempsey thinks. But after I do this, then I'll have the... Uh... Pack Punch Machine unlocked at round, uh, 9, so... Nothing says I love you quite like a shotgun. <laughs> Again, of course Dempsey thinks that. Ooh, what it give me? Kaboom! I'll take it. Alright, but I better run. Okay, there's 15 zombies currently spawned. Let's watch that number counter drop. <laughs> the only bad thing about Kabooms is they don't give any rank EXP. You don't rank up any faster for using kabooms, which I can understand why, but it still kind of sucks, because half the time I'm just tempted not to use the kaboom, so I can rank up faster. But it makes my life much harder if I don't, so... Character. Stab. 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 We got like a conga line of death going on here. Alright, let's go. What are we trying to do? Rip your guts out. Probably just trying to earn points, so I guess we should probably keep knifing. Alright, round 10. Yeah, and I, I should point out that the realism mod makes the game way, way easier. Like, that's not in question. Like, you can spawn with an MG42 and a 357 Magnum. I mean, once, I spawned, I was doing Shinonuma, and I spawned myself with a sawed-off shotgun and a 357, which meant I had two one-shot weapons, both of which, the 357 Magnum had like 80 shots, and the sawed-off had like, uh, 60. So essentially, I just sat in the first room in Shinonuma for like 10 rounds, without having to do anything. Well, of course I had to do stuff, but like, you know, I didn't have to go and buy any perks, I didn't have to go and buy Juggernaut. Yes, this does make the game way fucking easier, but I think it's fun, so I think it all evens out. And I believe the Bowie Knife is going to lose its one-hit kill capabilities fairly soon here. I think it's next round. Which, after that means I'll have to continue using conventional firearms instead of just knifing everyone. Which sucks. Because I enjoy stabbing people. Don't tell anyone. And, uh... <laughs> Go eat someone else, freak bag! Yeah, I can't. 
Maybe that guy, yeah. It's dead. Yeah, if I line separate, like, I got these guys. Alright. Cool. Alright, I could go and pack a punch right now, but I think I'm gonna go and do... Oh, say it's even dogs, so I believe I can still one-hit dogs with my knife. Yeah, I'm gonna go and look for a replacement for this. Oh, no. Yeah, sadly, the box costs more on this. And realism, I don't know why. Crap! Alright, I'm just gonna buy an STG then. This has got that cost me way more than it was worth. Now I got something fun to bring to the party. But I still need something to place my M1 Grand with. M1 Garand, I don't know how you pronounce it. Cheated repeatedly by this thing. <gasps> but no wonder when it pays off, it pays off, huh? And I know what we're upgrading. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, so now we gotta save up to upgrade the ray gun. Let me just check. I yeah, okay. I had to check to see if it was still one hit kill, but it's not. Yeah, I think it I think it's I think it's either round 11. Uh, it, it's something to do with round 11. It's either round 11 is the last round where it's a one hit kill, or round 11 is the first round where it stops being a one hit kill and I forget which it is. But it's one of those. Oh yeah, perk bottle. Like I was talking about, steady aim upgrade. Ooh, double tap. Not my first choice of perk, but you know, I'll complain for free perks. I really wish that uh, some of these mods would turn double tap root beer into the Black Ops 2 version, because that because the Black Ops 2 version of double tap is fucking cool. Like it's awesome. Bitch. 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 Eat someone else, freak bag. Alright, I think I have to go and upgrade my uh, ray gun. Just because the box gods favored me. Alright, come on, let's hurry, before I get swarmed. Uh, Dempsey, it's over. Alright, <laughs> I am going to conserve that for a little while. I should probably upgrade the shotgun pretty soon here. I think that'll be what I do next. Double tap upgrade. Good god. Ooh, perk bottle. Two perk bottles. <laughs> I have like super double tap now. I'm kinda scared to see how fast this shoots. Wow. That's such a waste of ammo. Oh god, this is such... Ooh, ooh, triple rank XP, Oh, I didn't realize how high my thing was. When that happens, I believe it's for the rest of the round, you get triple rank XP from whatever you do. So I was just gonna start stabbing. Cause now we get like 36 rank XP per kill. Oh wait, is it still in effect? Oh, it's still in effect! For whatever reason. 
Yeah, 36 XP per knife. Oh, it died off. I don't know how long it lasts. It's probably like 30 seconds like the rest of the perks. Yeah, okay, this thing's a real waste of ammo. Yeah, I need to upgrade this thing so it uh, retains its one-shot kill capabilities. I'm scared to see what, like, the FG-44 would do. I could buy that, just to see. It would probably rain death upon all my enemies. An upgraded FG- yeah, an upgraded FG-44. With maxed out double tap. Can't do my job if I ain't packing heat. Oh, uh, what the hell? Let's see. Out of your depth, slack jaw. Well, it's all my ammo. <laughs> I don't have enough. To standing after that. <laughs> well, that was impossible. 
possible. time here. That ain't working. Crap. I'll just knife this guy to death. It's not going to be any serious danger here. Well... Is very, very effective when an insta kill is going. Headshot. I 
really want that. But I probably there we go. Well, I got more ammo. He's a fucking badass. I've ever gotten this far. I might have on when I had my 357 Magnum shotgun set up. I don't remember. But right. It's, it's run out of perks to me. Oh no. No, 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 no. No. Oh. I jinxed it by saying that I've never made it to round 20. <laughs> oh. Alright. And I'm gonna log off here.